Welcome back everyone to another episode of Barry the Banyan, I am Barry the Banyan and this is Enter the Gungeon and again we are going back into the filthy Oubliet to have another shot at the uh, old king which is going to be far out and I'll show you in a second the weapons I have for the day. I did manage to get a um, uh, the master round for level 1 so that is very handy. Uh, Alright so I've got a got the helix and I've got the snowball that's all I really got because I was not able to open any chests because I only got two keys so that was a bit disappointing but uh yeah I managed I was able to buy the helix which is, which is actually a very powerful weapon um yeah it looks like the only way through here is to go through it so as you saw in my last uh, episode, I was not at all very good at doing this, so... Oh, dang it. Alright, let's have a go. Ah! Uh, oh, dang it, no, we just didn't make it. Alright, anyway, on we go. I may as well use a snowballer for these... These guys. The snowball is pretty good, because it freezes them. But, uh, freezes enemies, which is... Uh, which is a very handy. But, uh... Doesn't do that much damage actually, it doesn't and it also hasn't the best accuracy either, so that kinda sucks. Alrighty, on we go. Oh man, but it does have a high fire rate, far out. If you're spamming the uh left click enough, you'll get a huge amount of fire rate. Fire out. That's actually not bad. Not a bad gun for the fire rate. But yeah, however, you will waste a lot of ammo if you uh, if you miss a lot because of the fire rate. But nevertheless, it's pretty good. There's a bit of a popcorn there. Alrighty, on we go. Oh, Crocky. These dudes that spew poison can often harm their own teammates. So that's pretty handy. Alrighty, got some more dudes here, oh crikey, oh man, my hand's starting to cramp up from using this, uh, well it seems that holding it down does, oh look at that, we got two, oh, that is probably the, probably, that's probably the best thing about her being the hunter is that you'll get crumb, uh, cr uh, you get, you get crap tons of stuff in drop uh when you in random room drops far out my uh my vocabulary is not doing too well today far out all right anyway on we go all right and uh yeah this is i really do like the uh violin riff um for this soundtrack it's pretty cool i'll have to say all right He's dead, and there we go, alright. Might as well just go in here and discover the, uh, what's at the shop here. We've got, uh, the ruby bla bracelet, bracelet, I kept, in my Legend of Zelda remake, I kept calling the bracelet, uh, the bracelet a bracelet anyway. Got a key, that'd be pretty handy since we don't have any keys. Armor, not too great because... You can always get them for free often in drops. Why did I just teleport literally across the room? That was pretty random. But anyway, it got us where we need to go. And yeah, you can see why the snowballer is pretty overpowered in the fact that it uh, can... that uh, In the fact that it um, freezes enemies because you can pretty much clear a room without anyone shooting if you're good enough. Well, anyone except for you shooting, so... Kick these over to them. There we go, look at that. They're probably going to die before they get to me. Let's see if we can do this without... Alright, we're going to have to shoot a Kragi. Yeah, I was going to try and shoot the other barrel there, but... Oh, never mind. Here we go, we've got a pretty powerful enemy here. There we go, he only shot once and before I killed him, so Snowballer is not a bad gun, but... I don't know, just, um, the, the oh, what do you call it, uh, accuracy isn't the best thing. 
But however, accuracy isn't all that bad because if there is a buttload of enemies standing right in front of you, you can uh, missing them can also missing one enemy can also uh, be the uh, uh, hit another run. So that's yeah, that's that's the good thing about bad accuracy. Oh, Crocky, this is intense. Oh, jeez, that was a bit of a stupid dodge there. But. Uh, we uh, haven't lost any health. We only lost a bit of our armor that we did get in this. Uh, oh, crikey. A bit of armor that we got in this uh, Bloomin' playthrough. So I'd say that's not too bad. But uh, we'll try to get, again, the Master Round for level 2. But I am not going to make m uh, any promises. Also, you're probably wondering there at home why the heck you're not recording these Master Round uh, boss fights. And I have one answer for you. It's the fact that for some reason when I'm recording, I tend to get distracted by what I'm talking about and I will fail miserably. But um, in this case, I'm not doing too bad. But uh, yeah. During boss fights, it's not the best thing to be talking a lot, so, um, yeah. But I did, however, film that, uh, that, um, flawless oubliette fight, which was pretty dang cool. Oh, crikey, out of ammo. That's the thing about, uh, guns that have a high fire rate, they end up, um, they end up running out of ammo pretty fast. Alrighty, this is uh, the Hunter's Sidearm. Not a bad gun, I will say. May as well use a bit of this. It's kind of tricky to aim around because it does that helix thing. But if you get past the helixness, oh crikey, you have yourself a very powerful weapon, especially if both the lasers uh, hit, the, hit the enemies. Alright, may as well refill that and we definitely need some more health crikey it's one of these um all right let's have a look here we'll try our best to oh there we go flawless that's um definitely a lot easier than oh gosh definitely a lot easier than the oh dang it dang i hate those those Poopulons, that's what they're called, because they look like poo. Uh, the weird things that spew those bullets out and they twirl around. Okay, on we go. Yeah, these things, I blum and hate those dudes. Crikey, we're missing them. Oh, dang, oh yeah. I really hate those guys. Almost as much as I hate the... Uh, um... What do you call them? The Lead Maidens. Alright, let's just kill you. There we go. Alright. Yeah, the the, the Helix is pretty good. Really powerful gun, I will admit that, but it does lack a lot of accuracy because often you'll find yourself spamming the helix at an enemy but then you'll realize that you're not actually hitting him at all because he'll he'll just be um just be in that safe spot where the two bullets uh go uh, go apart from each other so yeah that's a deadly situation i would say all right holy crap Let's kill these dudes. There we go. Alright, now you can just... There we go. And we have almost full health. We have a key now, which is great, because this is a key... A uh, chest room, I mean. Uh, well, we'll save our key for the f uh, for when we find another... For, f for when we find a better chest, hopefully. And we do have two more health things uh, in there. And I really do not like this room, as you saw in as um as you saw in the last episode. I did quite poorly, but it looks like up here there's not as much bullets I have to worry about. So, all right, crikey, we have to oh man, we have to try and 
have to try and get across here. Oh, groggy. All right, let's... Oh, dang it. I keep missing that. There's always one lot of bullets out of your way. Oh, dang it. Uh, that sucks. We are to use a key to open that. Well, that's a big bummer. Um, ah, dang it. Well, we'll always, uh, we'll hopefully find a key in the, uh, in what the boss drops. So that's, uh, let's hope we can get a key there. And I'm just going to double check that this is a, uh, it's not a mimic. Okay, well, the dog would be barking at it if it was. Alright, well, let's get this health. May as well fully heal else ourselves in case we need the extra health for the boss battle, which I don't think we will need. But uh, anyway, I'll continue on. The helix will be very good for this boss because it's such a giant boss. Um, and that it's uh, even if the... Even if the bullets are far apart, you'll still be able to hit it. So I'll probably um, shut the heck up for this battle because I want to flawless this dude just so I don't waste any health. All right. Dang it! Oh, crikey. Oh, never mind. Alright, well, you can see there I lost a bit of health there, but, um. Ah, oh, dang it. You can, yeah. I started to sort of go, oh, crikey, crikey, I got a move, he was coming towards me, and I was like, oh, yep, yeah, I know what kind of move he's going to be doing. I did not get in the, out of the way fast enough. Oh, I don't think I've ever had this one before. Let's... Uh, never mind, I probably have had this before, but never got the chance to, ch uh, never got the chance to use it, chance to use it, sorry. Um, alrighty, let's replenish that ammo. We did get a key though, which is great. We can now open a chest. Alright, let's open this chest. Far out. Also, we have to get far out. Can't forget the... Oh, shoot. Oh, man. I just remembered. Uh, crikey, crikey, crikey. I don't, yeah. That sucks badly. Uh, I have to get across that death trap to... Ah... Uh, well, I guess it's a good thing I won't have to go across this um, when I have the... Uh, oh, dang it, far out. Alright. I'm going to shut up for a second. I really need to do this. Oh. Of course. Of course. Alright, let's just do this. Come on. Alright, there we go. Uh, that was a pretty poor performance, but we got a we got a science kind of not a bad gun does uh, pretty good damage. Uh, we do have the crest now. Let's flip and hope that we don't come across another horrible death trap in the next um, in the next area. May as well buy this key just so I can open this chest and get a get hopefully a better gun for boss battles. Alrighty. Oh, what is this? This is the regular and saloon dodge up. That will be very handy. Look at that. That is a absolutely crazy dodge roll. Alright. Oh, uh, into the second level we go. Far out. Well, now I just have to hope that I don't uh, get hurt in the next um, area. So I will see you 
when I get to the oh man, get to that uh, sec- to, to the entrance to the to the Abbey of the uh, True Gun. I <coughs> oh crikey, I'll see you then. All right, welcome back, everyone. Uh, I I've got a heck ton of weapons here. I found a few chests. Defeated the um. Uh, the second boss and got the master round for the second boss, flawlessly defeated, and, uh, yeah, got a, got a heap of weapons here, also I discovered the old Goldie is a super accurate, uh, shotgun, so that is very, very good. Right, and on we go into the dungeon, um, yes, I will have to decide what weapon I will use for room clearing, so I will do that when we get uh, here we go. Alright. Alright, uh, well, we've got. Alright, uh, here we go. Uh, Helix is a bit out. Uh, Alright, well. Alright, well, I'll use the old Goldie for. Um. Yeah. I'll use old Goldie for room clearing. And I will use the Helix for. Maybe the boss battle, maybe. Right, anyway. On we go, defeating these dudes. Holy moly, there's a buttload of them. Right, there we go. Quite surprised, actually, um, uh, defeated the second boss flawless, flawlessly. Also, uh, I did, when I, um, defeated the second boss, get a cursed item, so... There's going to be a lot more jammed... Crikey, this dude is flipping. Alright, um, yeah, I got this. I will show you. Uh, blood brooch. So, uh, uh, yeah, it will draw health from wounded enemies. So, I thought that is pretty overpowered, especially if, um, I lose a bit of health, because I'll definitely be needing health for the, um, for the boss battle, so... That will be a thing, crikey. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Also, the Stodrill I'm in love with. Holy moly, it's so good. So dang fast. Alright, there go. There we go. He's gone. Gotta get this cubule on. Kapow, bow, and there he goes. He's dead. And then we've got one of these dudes that takes heaps of hits and becomes fat. And explodes. Alright, there we go. On we go. Okay, man, wow, this has... Oh my gosh, there are heaps of these dudes. Oh gosh. Oh wow, 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 wow. There's heaps of bad guys here. Alright. Holy moly. Oh wow. Alright, well I hope this... Uh, Blood Brooch comes into effect pretty soon. Because I have a little less health now. Alright. Um, I'm guessing since this Blood Brooch isn't an active item, but it is a passive item, I'm guessing it uh, will automatically do its thing. Alright, let's continue on. We have not much uh, ammo left for the... Oh. Old Goldie. So we will, uh, once it runs out of ammo, I will switch to something like the, um, something like the, what's it called? Uh, here we go. Bust out the old, oh, this is actually not a bad gun. I might use this. There we go. This is a very, it's a pretty good gun for uh, crowd control. Because it uh, it has it has a f it's like a flamethrower sort of thing up close, and it's a pretty pretty good gun from a distance. All right, let's crikey. Um, oh, come on! Wow, this actually doesn't do that much damage. Never mind. Oh, there we go. He's dead. But it does it does, however, have a very good uh, characteristic of. Dealing fire damage up close. That is pretty good, pretty good trait for uh, a little less damage. All right, 
crikey. These dudes again. I really don't like those. These guys with the hat things. Because they have that annoying... That annoying, um... The cluster of bullets that will, um... Follow you. Which really throws you off when you've got heaps of enemies in the room. Alrighty. Uh, just kill you. Come on, there you go. Alright. On we go. Oh, crikey. Oh, man. Right, well, we've got one of these. I think I'll... Don't have much use for this. I don't know why. I just... I don't really enjoy this gun. Chuck that in. Um, this, however, is quite an overpowered weapon. I may as well chuck that in and see what we get. If we get something crummy, I'm going to be pretty mad. Oh, the unicorn. Oh, gosh, it's it's uh, it's cursed. But, yeah, man, we've got enough curse. But I guess it is quite a uh, powerful weapon. Alrighty. Um, here we go. Let's go. Next room, what do we got? We got buttloads of these dudes that will explode. They better not catch me off guard or I'll be quite triggered. Alright, there we go. Easily dodged. Alright, now. Oh, wow. Oh, deal fire damage to these dudes. Push them into the stuff. Alright, and we are full health. We have full health. That's great. That is very good. Alright, uh, let's see here. We got another room there, so I'll just uh, run into there. Have a bit of a glander. Alrighty. Uh, we've got a crummy gun cult and another jammed character. Crikey, we lost our health there. That was a bit of a bummer. And we also just used our much needed. Um, blank for the boss battle which sucks so bad because every time I've been defeating that dang boss I've been always going oh man I really need some blanks here but uh yeah yeah never mind All right. also this monitor far out it's um it's got this unique um oh man uh, oh crikey oh far out holy moly um, this monitor has this new, unique uh, power saving feature and it um, every now and then it will, the, the display will just darken randomly. It's not very, uh, it, do, it doesn't affect my gameplay much but it's sort of just, it's as, if, it's as if the bloomin' monitor is having a bit of a, having a bit of a stroke or something. I'll just be like, oh gosh, oh, okay. here we go, we're going good again. And then it'll all of a sudden just go, oh, it's going dark again. And then, yeah, a bit weird. Far out, there's heaps of these dudes. Good thing I have this flamethrower thing. Because that's pretty overpowered towards them. Oh, we've got, got some uh, ammo here. Uh, Alright, well, I'm going to probably use the unicorn horn for... The for the boss battle because I'm pretty sure it uh, oh. attracts enemies so that's great um, well I hope it does if it doesn't then I'll be triggered alright on we go and we've got another chest and we have another room which I am guessing is going to be the boss room so we will check that out and it is... I'll just get out. Oh, it is another room. Alright. I was guessing it'd be the boss room, but obviously I was wrong. Alrighty. Bam, bam, bam. Die. And... Bam. Okay. And this is the boss room. Alright. Alright, well... Alright, let's get ready. Holy moly! Ugh. Huh. <coughs> Holy moly. Oh, crikey. All right. Get a bit of health, because uh, that's we're definitely going to need that, and we will definitely need another blank. Uh, what else? Is there any... 
let's let's have a look and see what we can get out of this chest just by shooting it all right and we have oh just junk I was hoping we'd get another get some more health but and eh, never mind oh, so... oh I'll save uh um, you know, oh man, uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to save that last chest for the possibility that I might uh, get a key by defeating this dude, and then we'll be able to go into the third level with another few set of guns, so yes, let's go, I'll probably be quiet again, so just, um, yeah, just, uh, oh yeah, yeah, see, look, there's, there's killer pillars, Far out, I hope they don't come alive in uh, midway or ha when this dude dies. Right, now it's time to be quiet so I can focus. Oh, dang it. I'm going to use a different gun because that gun is quite ineffective. Oh, dang it. Oh, man. Come on. Oh, man. Oh, man, that stuffs me up. Oh, there we go. Well. Oh, man, this dude is so dang hard. Far out. Just need an in overpowered weapon like the good old fight saber. Ah, uh, crikey, if I find that sometime, well. Oh man, well, anyway, that's gonna pretty much end it up for this episode. I did pretty poorly, but again, I didn't. Uh, I think I need heaps more blanks, I need heaps more health, I need heaps more everything, but it's kind of hard to get all that with only three levels to get all that crap in so i will see you in the next video where i uh try and attempt another another go at this uh old king so i will see you Gumbo, ice, break the dungeon, eagle, punch your man, silver, robots, right hand. Who's he's fine, never leave.